In the previous program, don't associate painters from the Kiev Pachersk Lavra with decorative works. Some time should be given after the completion of construction. All of them refused as they had their own work. St. Vladimir Patriarchal Cathedral, five architects and six metropolitans, four czars, had been changed during its construction. Instead of two years, construction works lasted for 11 years. Paintings lasted 12 years instead of the planned two. The final cost was nearly three times higher than the initial cost. A religious masterpiece of world culture with a height of 14 meters. The figure of the Virgin Mary is 10 meters high. Visitors entering the cathedral look in amazement at the image in the altar. This place, the semicircle, is called the conch. Another upper semicircular is also known as the end, from the Greek word. The golden background pale pink and blue clouds. The Virgin is in dark blue, almost black clothing. The infant Jesus is adorned in innocent white. The murals are decorated with oil paints. The gorgeous, fascinating composition is the only visible part of what the masters did. Masters should prepare the wall in order to start decoration works. First is to make the glue that will stick to the bricks. The result is a perfect surface that will last for centuries. Vasnetsov, Mother of God, is the unofficial name of the altarpiece of the Virgin Mary and Divine Child Jesus. Viktor Vasnitsov could pay with his life for this work, considered a world masterpiece. The mid-1880s, Russian artist Viktor Vasnitsov arrived in Kiev after receiving the persuasion of Andrei Brakov. Decoration works began between 1885 and 1886. Construction of the cathedral was almost complete. Vatsnitsov, mentioning the beauty of the cathedral, agreed to lead the project. The Vaznitsov family finally moved to Kiev and rented a comfortable, spacious apartment near St. Sophia Square. The place of their residence was chosen not by chance. Viktor Vaznitsov spent all his time in the St. Sophia Cathedral examining the ancient frescoes. At the same time, he regularly attended the St. Cyril's Church, where the restoration works were held. Later, Vaznitsov went to Italy, where he visited Venice. Florence, Rome, Raven, Palmero and Naples. After the journey, Vatsnetsov started decoration works of the St. Vladimir Cathedral. He came to the cathedral almost every day and worked very hard. In truth, Vatsnetsov had some health problems. He was a feeble man. The building wasn't heated and the painter constantly suffered from the common cold. But it wasn't the only problem the artist faced. He could not decide on the main central theme, namely the altarpiece of the Virgin Mary and the Divine Child Jesus. The photosphere was already developed in the second half of the 19th century. Ukrainian educated society 
Together with Kiev citizens, glorified the image of the Sistine Madonna by Raphael. Kiev citizens wanted to see the image of the Mother of God in this very style. Vaznetsov couldn't imagine how to do it. He said he was not worthy to repeat Raphael's work. He knew the brilliant artist had no equal in Western sacred art. However, the Raffaello Santi Sistine Madonna became the prototype for Vatsnetsov, Mother of God. The Russian painter borrowed the idea of the Italian master. The composition variations are quite similar, though the iconography and facial features of the Virgin Mary in both works were different. The composition and the idea of the divine image is the same. But the idea of the image alone wasn't enough. The long-desired image of the Virgin Mary and the divine child Jesus was needed. The painter couldn't find images for a long time. His beloved wife, Alexandra, a newborn son, Mikhailo, helped him. Once Vatsnetsov saw his wife with an infant in her hands, He saw a child stretching his hands as if he wanted to embrace the universe. He was amazed by the spectacle he saw. Vasnetsov decided to draw this image on the wall of the abs conch. The scaffolding was raised and the artist immediately began drawing the top tier. As soon as he took to his work, the next problems arose. He was a man of average age and he could not paint with his head thrown back all the time. He obviously suffered from osteochondrosis. Vasnetsov once fell from the scaffolding. His assistants found the artist unconscious on the floor. During the fall, he hit his rib against a stone, but within a week, the artist returned to his work. His assistants poured him cold water. Vasnetsov knew his work of art would most certainly go down in the history of culture. Task number one for the artist was to gain national recognition and world acclaim. Representatives of the supervisory committee were among those who interfered with the works on the mural, most of which they considered to be a far cry from art culture. They tried to control the artists and complained about them. One time, a general came to the cathedral and expressed his dissatisfaction with the accomplished work. Vasnetsov, being very delicate and tolerant, crudely showed him the door. Despite all the obstacles, the decoration masters completed the painting works of the cathedral. The St. Volodymyr Cathedral was consecrated on August 20, 1896, in the presence of the Russian Emperor and other local nobles. It took 44 years to bring the idea of the Kiev Metropolitan to life, although 11 of those years were spent on decoration works of the cathedral, it had been well worth the wait. Decoration works of the St. Volodymyr Cathedral are unique to this day and are famous all over the world. Despite being often criticized by detractors over the course of the works, Viktor Vatsnitsov quickly gained many fans. He received orders to decorate churches in St. Petersburg, Darmstadt and Warsaw. He wasn't famous for his other paintings like Three Heroes and others. He entered the legion of the history of world culture due to his works in the St. Vladimir Cathedral.
The altarpiece of the Virgin Mary and the Divine Child Jesus is the pearl of these paintings. Vatsnitsov portrayed the Mother of God with human features, divinity and holiness. Indeed, Vatsnitsov's Mother of God can be compared only to the Sistine Madonna. Few people know that the world masterpiece was created not only by Vatsnitsov. Vatsnitsov merely created the general composition. He drew the face image of the Virgin Mary. He only controlled the painting of the clothing of the Blessed Virgin Mary in a very dark blue shade and the eight or ten angels surrounding her. The students of Viktor Vatsnetsov drew under his leadership angels, seraphim and cherubs that surrounded the Virgin Mary, who was seamlessly descending from the heavens, moving on clouds to meet people. The brilliant young artist Serhi Kostenko drew it. He worked at the main part of the masterpiece, Angels, Clothing and Clouds. Serhi Kostenko painted most of the area on which the Mother of God stands, the angels at her side and the clothing she is dressed in, according to the designs of Vatsnitsov. Therefore, as the author of the monograph about St. Volodymyr Cathedral, I consider Viktor Vatsnitsov and Serhi Kostenko the authors of the decoration works. Vasnetsov often repeated that he was very happy while doing the painting works of the St. Volodymyr Cathedral. He wrote to his friends in letters, the work for the good of the church was the artist's true mission. Viktor Vasnetsov painted 15 compositions and 30 separate figures in the St. Volodymyr Cathedral. Each of them has its own history and mystery.